Kamala Harris and the Democratic plantation is paying you celebrities, paying you to shame black people into voting. Y'all know we not going to get nothing out of that vote. Y'all know we not going to get nothing out of that vote. Y'all know y'all not. We not going to get nothing out of the vote. In this video, Dr. Umar Johnson exposes the Kamala Harris campaign for doing something so pathetic. This is the Devore Darkens Show. Quite frankly, I like to stay away from stories like this because they're very toxic. Uh, I believe they are a waste of energy, but we have to call this out and let people know what the truth really is about the Kamala Harris campaign. And I don't care if you're going to vote for her or not, or you're going to vote for Trump or not. I think when they start to do things like this, it shows you either one, how much in trouble they really are, or two, how stupid they think you are. And where we're going to start is this message from Ricky Smiley to black people. Uh, I'm just sick of the black people on the internet talking about I'm not with her. Okay, so if you're not with her, that means you with Trump. And y'all need to block every last one of their asses on Facebook and on Instagram and social media and stop. Like, that's just, that's just garbage. Yeah. It's just yeah. garbage. Can Everybody we be united got to find, on anything? And, and, yeah. yeah, yeah. Can't be, like, can't agree on a damn uh, bucket of chicken. One person want a hot dog. I always complain. Black folks get on my damn nerve, man. What you, <laughs> why everybody making all, all these celebrities, making all these videos, going off on Kamala Harris and stuff, and then the black men, Kamala Harris didn't prosecute you and, and treated you bad in court. I got treated bad in court, too. But I'm with her. Because a, a vote for her, uh, uh, if you sit at home and you don't support her, you're su you you are definitely supporting Donald Trump. You can vote for who you want to, but don't be trying to encourage other people and sit up there and put bad stuff. Where's that same energy for Donald Trump? Yeah. Well, you know, you know what I'm, saying? I'm, I'm just like, and, don't and, and vote for not, him. It is what it is. They're not even doing, y'all not even out here doing real research. Then look at her record. If you do the research or whatever, stop believing everything you read and do real research. You can see what a record is. You can see what she have done. I think you can Google what have Kamala Harris done for the black community or things that black that, that black people benefit from a lot. We need a to stand lot. with her. Yes. We need to stand with her. She's Absolutely. great. She will make a great president. And what a blessing to be living in a time where a black woman can become president of the United States of America. In our time, we get a black man and a black woman become president. That's unheard of. Come on, man. Stop it. Mm -hmm. Okay, Ricky Smiley, let's do the research. Let's do some research. Because last time I checked, that research has Kamala Harris flip-flopping. Right? She doesn't want to talk about her old record. She wants to manufacture a new record. But hey, I'm not the one that actually debated her on this. And the last person who did, they crushed her. Let's take a look at that. Senator Harris says she's proud of her record as a prosecutor, but she put over 1,500 people in jail for marijuana violations and then laughed about it when she was asked if she ever smoked marijuana. I am proud of that work. And I am proud of making a decision to not just give fancy speeches or be in a legislative body and give speeches on the floor, but actually doing the work. The bottom line is, Senator Harris, when you were in a position to make a difference and an impact in these people's lives, you did not. And the people who suffered under your reign as prosecutor, oh, you owe them an apology. Yeah, she owes a lot of people an apology, right? All those people that supported the fact that she became the first woman vice president, but absolutely did not accomplish anything, that she was put in charge of the border, and that was a utter disaster, that was obviously covering up the mental decline of the sitting president of the United States. Yeah, she owes even people who support her in apology because currently she's still gaslighting everybody. She refuses to do a legitimate press conference. That's number one. Number two, when we try to make who you vote for about race, we're defeating the purpose of voting. We are. We're voting to get results. We're not voting to try to make a statement. That's what's wrong with the country is everyone's trying to make a statement, right? Instead of doing the job instead of getting results. It was clear that President Biden's top priority was not to get results for the American people, but to put women on the Supreme Court and as vice president of the United States. And not just any type of woman, but a black woman. That was his priority. That superseded what he should have been focusing on. Let's go back to it. The border, inflation, crime, health care. 
And I am a firm believer that for all the celebrities out there that choose to comment on politics, they should take a page out of Denzel Washington's book and don't say anything at all. Because until you sit down and truly do your research, which they never do, you always end up saying something that is utterly false. Which leads me to this video from Dr. Uman Johnson, who exposes Ricky Smiley. Let's take a look at that. Black vote ain't for sale no more. Black vote ain't for sale. We bartering on business. We standing on business. Bring us some tangibles or get out of my face. Ricky Smiley, I love you. But crying on the radio for Kamala Harris, my brother? That's an all-time low. Don't do that again, Ricky Smiley. Don't you get on your radio show and cry for Kamala. Don't you do that, my brother. If you want to cry for Kabama Harris, if you want to cry for Kabama Harris, you do that in the privacy of your house. But if we're going to be honest, Steve Harvey and Ricky Smiley, and I love you both, no hate to my big brothers, but if we're going to be honest, Ricky Smiley and Steve Harvey, y'all only carried on because y'all got paid to carry on. Can we please be honest? Can we see? I want y'all to understand, overstand and understand what King Kong is talking about. Y'all carried on because y'all got paid to carry on. Kamala Harris and the Democratic plantation is paying you celebrities, paying you to shame black people into voting. Y'all know we not gonna get nothing out of that vote. Y'all know we not gonna get nothing out of that vote. Y'all know y'all not, we not gonna get nothing out of the vote, but they being paid, y'all being bought. They offered me 10K for an interview with Kamala Harris. I don't want your money, but we can definitely do the interview. They offer me 10K for an interview with Kamala Harris. Yes, we can do the interview. Keep your damn money. Don't come to me with no propositions for money. I don't live for no money. I'm not no Ricky Smiley and Steve Harvey. You don't drop no check off and say, get the Negroes to the plantation on November the 4th. You don't drop no check off and say, get the Negroes to the plantation. He's dead on about one point. Uh, and that is that they're trying to go out there and buy the black vote. This is why you saw Megan the Stallion at her rally in Atlanta, Georgia, right? This is why you heard her switch up her accent when she was in Atlanta, Georgia on the stage speaking. This is why you see her trying to pay black celebrities and black influencers to get the black vote. Now, what does that say about someone who wants to become the president of the United States? What does that say about how much she truly respects the black community? What does that say about a commander in chief who sees black people in that way? And I'm trying to figure out what's worse, the fact that she's doing it or the fact that she doesn't even deny that she's doing it. It's like they're moving in a way where they don't even care if they get exposed or not. Let's take a look at this one. What kind of coaching do you give influencers acting on behalf of the Harris campaign? Talking points, resources, base language. Well, Flaherty says the Harris campaign does not pay influencers directly, CBS News found a constellation of other Democratic political organizations that do. In May, Future Forward, the super PAC supporting Harris, hosted panels like Gaming the Algorithm and How Advocacy Can Benefit Your Business. In the first 100 days of a Republican presidency under Trump, Project 2025 talks about sacking thousands of civil servants. Last month, Sunday says she was hired by Protect Our Care, a progressive advocacy group that relies on anonymous donors. She made a video warning about Trump's second term agenda. They almost help you script it, right? Right, like, definitely. She takes their talking points and puts them into her own voice, saying she always discloses when she's being paid. Yes. What's your rate? So a video just for a creator in my size and average can go from $3,000 to $10,000 depending and upwards. Yeah, so obviously they're out there and they're willing to pay the money to make sure that the narrative is pushed, that she is the answer for the next president of the United States. On one side, you got to respect it because it's part of the game. But on the other side, what does that say about how she thinks about the black community? Now, it got even worse because when President Trump did a live stream at Mar-a-Lago with Aiden Ross, who's known as one of the top streamers uh, for Gen Z's, 
um, they thought it was a great idea to also reach out to somebody else that is a Gen Z, but it's black. Let's take a look at this. So this girl is so goddamn long who gonna have the audacity to text me. We need you a part of the campaign. At first I was talking, I was thinking she was talking about like a game, a video game, like a, a modern warfare game um, or some shit. Or if not that, a clothing brand. I'm like, what campaign? Shorty gonna say, Ah! We're not gonna get into details. <laughs> Yo, this is why I can't do shit. <laughs> hey, listen, I'm gonna keep it a sight with y'all boys, okay? What the fuck is Kasanak gonna talk about with politics, my nigga? <laughs> Let's be real. Let's be real. Hey, look. Mark my words. I'm gonna say it. Right now, if this some way, somehow, something was to go into where I do the stream of politics, I'm going to be 100% honest. I'm going to sit on my stream and say, why did you guys call me? <laughs> like, you know, I don't know. I've never did any, I've never did anything with politics. And I got, and these blogs are like trying to say, yo, you gotta do this shit, God. And it's all the top blogs, but I'm like, bro, since when did niggas care about what Cots and that had to talk about for politics? Okay, so yeah, that's why I made the point that I don't know what's more offensive or crazy. The fact that they're doing it or the fact that they don't care if they get exposed doing it. You know, it's kind of like if you're going to steal from me, just make sure I don't find out. Right? But well, you going to steal from me and not even care if you get found out? I mean, God. I don't, I don't know how, how to feel about that, but that's how her campaign is moving. They're paying black celebrities, trying to go after black influencers, black streamers, black YouTubers to get black people to vote for her. And the problem that she's running into is that you cannot buy the black vote in that way. So as I wrap up this video, here are my three final points on this story. Uh, number one, it just shows you the arrogance and how out of touch she really is when they're thinking that all they need to do is spend some money on celebrities to get black votes. That's number one. Number two, it also is an indictment on black people that black people are falling into this and willing to listen to a Steve Harvey, willing to listen to a Ricky Smiley, individuals who are not even in politics. And third, it just shows the overall mindset of the Democratic Party. I thought Democratic Party cared about black people. If they cared so much about black people, why haven't they done anything for black people? Why is it that President Trump has done more for black people than Joe Biden and Kamala Harris combined? And Joe Biden and Kamala Harris are career politicians. That is not my opinion. These are facts. So many prominent black leaders, whether they were rappers entertainers, musicians, or actors have been funded, supported, endorsed, or celebrated by Donald Trump before he ran for president. You can go look this up if you truly do your research. You'll find videos, you will find photos, you will find articles of the black community loving Donald Trump. But it's only when Donald Trump ran for president, the media had to shut that down, the Democrats, they had to shut that down. And the programming of the black community to vote only Democrat. Oh, yeah, that became triggered because Donald Trump ran as a Republican. Why would someone who was Democrat their entire life run to be Republican? It might just say what's been really happening with the Democratic Party, that they are not who they want you to believe that they are. So that's my mindset. What's yours? What do you think about the fact that uh, Kamala Harris and her campaign is being exposed for paying black celebrities to get black votes? Uh, what do you think about the fact that there are black people out there buying into this craziness? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Thank you for checking out the video today. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Stay grateful, stay focused, and stay true. Peace. Peace.